it's number episode two. If you didn't, if you didn't know, I'm sick of it. You're sick of what? I'm sick of this Bro, podcast. It's the second episode in, and he's already sick of it. I can't be asked. These guys are so. They're so annoying. Who? Who you, are you aiming this at? You've got to be on your tiptoes and, oh, don't say that and don't say that. And I gave a verbal warning last time and I stuck to it last episode, but I don't think I want to stick to that verbal warning anymore. Captain Barnacles. Captain Barnacles. <laughs> you look like Captain on Barnacles. On a snail ship. <laughs> no, he drives the gut B. custard creams. Bro, he drives the gut B. Did you not watch Octonauts? Well, this just proves that I'm more Bro, he drives the, the gut B. Everyone knows that. What the fuck are you talking about, The bro? gut B. What do you mean, the gut B? The submarine. Bro, Captain Barnacles drives the gut B. Bro, can someone... I'm, I'm scared for you. I'm Guy genuinely didn't scared for you, No, 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 dude. I'm scared for you, okay? We've clearly witnessed last week about your autistic spells, and now you're doing the exact same thing. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I'm not happy with you, by the way. I'm going to have to put this up. I'm going to have to, I'm gonna have to say up, this. Janice. No, Janice. Do you just fucking call me Janice? Live on cam. On cam one, two, and three. Yeah, nice. Anyway, I'm annoyed at you, bro. Last night. Last night. Oh, I couldn't help him. No, 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 no. This absolute prick <laughs> of a retard spastic cabbage. All right, I'll tell, you, I'll tell you what he did, all right? I'll tell you what he did, right? So I'm out with my girlfriend, right? And I come back home, okay? And uh, I put the heating on. And obviously in the heating, you have to take the, the, the remote out of the out of the, uh, the little holder on the wall. Oh, I know that. You know that, yes. And then uh, turn it on. And then um, I put it back in the holder and it falls off. <laughs> The holder falls off. So this guy's unscrewed the, the wall remote ha- Boys, handle thing. I'm telling you, two pounds, go to Asda, get a screwdriver, and no, you're going to have a the, blast. The worst thing is giving you a screwdriver, bro. I'll tell you what else he done. All right, I come back home. Nathan's <laughs> sleeping up. He's, he's on his laptop um, on the couch, all right? And, I, mm. and he goes, you don't want to see the kitchen. I'm like, what the fuck's happened to the kitchen? I go to East's cupboard, all right? The handles are off. The door <laughs> handles are off. My guy has unscrewed the handles out of the cupboard and they said i couldn't move out mate. No, no. <laughs> that's not the only thing he's done what? last what? I night didn't do anything you took all of his stuff out of his cupboard and put it into nathan's cupboard that just features a knife and fork so now and oh my god should i put what you put what did you put in east's cupboard bro i think we should move on he put a potato in his cupboard it's a singular potato with the swartz Nazi symbol on it, whatever the fuck it's called. What's it called? Swastika. 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 Yeah, not Costco. No, not Costco, obviously. But he popped. We're not sp- a retailer. No. Can I just ask what went through your mind? Just getting a little spud and draw- <laughs> I'm drawing a swastika. <laughs> well, I opened mine. I was planning to have mashed potatoes, and I thought these are mouldy, but we can't put them to waste. And I think the only other productive thing you can possibly do with a mouldy potato without ruining it is put a swastika on it. Yeah. Go through everyone's exactly. mind. Exactly. No. So then I told East what happened because I'm the respectable guy in the nerd. house. Nerd. No, I'm not Neek. a nerd. All right, because this guy needs to edit our YouTube video and you're harassing him. Oh, yeah, that YouTube video. The that's poor guy. Yeah, no, fine. East is like three hours late on the dropouts day upload. Mm. Um, but he then went into your cupboard. This is too far, I can't lie. Nothing and I did. still hasn't him. been cleaned. And he's been out for the entire day. Still hasn't been cleaned. He got your rice, he got your sauces, he chewing got gum. your chewing gum, and he just spilt it all in the cupboard. So in his cupboard now is just rice. Crisps. And he stabbed my mum's pot. With my knife. So we're both in, so we should fire East. I'm just saying, uh, when I come home with my girlfriend, I don't want her to be seeing what retards we are. She was actually a victim of one of the crimes. How? She stepped in the puddle. <sighs> <laughs> No, I don't know what she was doing yet. Oh, she just started walking around the kitchen like an NPC. <laughs> Us three. I'll tell you what happened. So we've got, we got a dirty bucket of water. We've got hard floor. We've poured it on the floor because we wanted to make an ice rink. Oh, yeah. You know, and that then, thing you do in a house, guys. But then we forgot. We wanted to prank you. You didn't come out. We forgot about it. Like, we actually forgot. Mm. And then she's walking. I can see her walking. And we've all given each other a look of... Wasn't, wasn't meant for her. Before you know it, she's, she's just caught her grip. Yes. And she's got... Soggy socks. Yeah, she had she had like the fat, you know, the fat face fluffy socks. So they're now in the day laundry basket. You know, she wore them once, got them for Christmas. It's great, isn't it? But no, bless her though. We got in and she fully puts the handle back on. You know, screws it up. Wake up the next morning, the handle's back off. <laughs> My guy fully unscrewed the handle again, like he done, like he didn't do anything. He We're back in for round two. He needed something else to do to fulfil his uh, his needs. Bro, I think I'm addicted to destroy. <laughs> I love smashing things. Yeah, it's I a love, good thing, bro. I love breaking. Things. You know what you'd love. 
Mm. Go into one of those things. This is like buildings in it, and you yeah. smash stuff up. Oh, an anger room. An anger. A rage room. room. A rage room. I feel like if I went in there, I would just honestly detail the whole place and dust it. Can you imagine? Some guys paid fifty quid, right? You work there. Oh, let's check CCTV. I wonder what, what divorce he's going through. <laughs> <laughs> guys just cleaning a vase. I can't. Fifty pound cleaner. So you go to rage room and just fucking cleaner, clean. Yeah, I'd make it. I'd leave it spotless. If anything, I'd furnish it. I'd build furniture. Can I just ask? Right, it's a genuine question. Think about this as a therapy session. Shoot. Okay. <laughs> What goes through your mind when you see a screwdriver and you you want to unscrew something? Bro, you're giving me the desire to just remove every every piece of item in no, his but what, legs. What, I actually don't know. What disability is that? If anyone knows what disability this guy has, it's genuinely worrying me. Well, it started in school. Right. So there's I a was in the canteen. Right. I'd stole a, uh, I'd stole a chisel. Oh shit! D and C. And oh, there's a fuck g- sake. and I was chiseling Callum's lunch card. And Callum's poor, poor come, Callum's the victim now. He's come back. Yeah. He's gone to scan for his baguette. Lunch card's not worked, and he's pissed off at me. And while he's being angry, I've seeked opportunity. If I can destroy Callum's lunch, I can destroy the government. This can be the start of something big. Oh, fuck my life. With with this chisel, with bro. This chisel, you can with destroy chisel, the government, bro. You don't understand the power of a single tool. I moved on to traffic lights. I moved on to traffic lights. I did. I did. I did move on to traffic lights. You it moved was, on to traffic lights, guys, if you didn't hear that the first time. Bro, I was like the Pied Piper. I was known for disconnecting traffic lights, bro. I was just, I was unscrewing things left, right and centre. I unscrewed everything. So, if you guys heard about the Nottingham accidents happened in 2006, this was the guy that did that. Well, I don't think I caused much destruction. You just said you caused traffic lights and took traffic lights off, mate. No, just the buttons. Oh, just the buttons. Yes. How are people going to get across the road? With their eyes and legs and hearing. If anything, I'm testing the minds, making them stronger. Muscular minds. No, what no, we no. Need. There's no way. Bro, you're I'm going to open a tuition it. center called Muscular Minds, and I'm going to teach people the ramps way what, of living. Unscrewing un- shit. No, I'm going to teach them genuine, genuine qualities you need as an adult. Like what? What have you? What do you know? Well, I believe. Yeah, what do you believe, buddy? Well, I see TikTokers all the time. How oh, do you? What about think... at the Simmons Bakery? <laughs> Where do you see TikTokers all the time? Well, when we're just out and about. Yes. And I just see these little retards in public making a, oh, yeah. <laughs> Renegade. <laughs> and, I'm just th- and I'm just thinking to myself, bro, I think people who got famous young, mm. they missed a vital part of, like, experience. You, uh, no, got, a vital got... part of experience to becoming an adult. We're not out of touch. I don't think we're out of touch. I think we're very in touch compared to a lot of these twatty TikTokers we see. You, we're in touch. Well, I no, don't think I know anyone that unscrews shit in their own fucking house, bro. That's a condition. Oh, at least you are not. You know, well done. Well done. At least you're aware and fully aware of your spasticated mind. I'm glad. I'm glad. Also, when we're drunk, he's unscrewed the door hand, the door frame. The door frames are off the door. Why? Because I just thought... I just think we can be more productive with our time. Mm. Yeah, what time is this? Three in the morning. <laughs> Go to bed. You flooded the bathroom. No, I was drunk. That's different. I was sober. Yeah, and that's worrying. Yeah? yeah. Unscrewed it. What are you going to do now? Screw them back on. What a lovely session that is. It's a little hand workout. No, it's not. Also, we have an inspection this week as well, and we're fucked for that. We have a hole in the Bro, wall. Bro, I've just thought of J. Cole. Do you know when I said workout? I was like... Do it, fast it, make it stronger. Oh, that's that's the other one. No. That's Kanye West. Yeah, okay. That's good, man. Bro, those two are so similar. Okay. Like, their music, the style, I think it's the beat. The producer must be the same. Bro, every song... Yo, you should talk too. But if What the fuck is going on, Every bro? song... You're just speaking by yourself. All right, I'll About stop. random shit. But all I want to say is that's why I'm annoyed at you. That's why I'm annoyed. Because I have a screwdriver. Because you fucked up the house, bro. And you don't clean up shit, mate. You don't. You've still got your mum's little Tupperware dishes on the side. Oh, and who did that? You fucked it. You're a culprit as well, mate. You're fucking past the saucepan. Hey, you. Yeah, it's still in the fucking sink, mate. No, it's on the fucking kitchen counter. You guys... Get smoked. No, it's done. He's not in the podcast. We're not speaking to him. (laughs) That was was very gay. Yes, Do not do that again. Okay. Okay? All right? Can we agree on that? No. I, oh, I ain't God, signing no deals. By all means, bro, do that again. <laughs> oh, for fuck's sake. Bro, I've been in Cambridge today. What have you done in Cambridge, bro? Oh, you've been out all day, ain't you? Bro, I'm not even lying. I, I went there to film a video, right? Yes. That was my intention. Well, I've parked. I'm a bit, oh, a bit hungry. Yeah. I can hear my stomach going. 
And I'm thinking, oh, that was sick. Did I get? <laughs> Sounds like a stomach. I do phones too. Look, <laughs> we're getting sidetracked. We are. Sidemen. Sidemen on my laptop. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> You'll never see the sidemen on my laptop, bro. I tried watching that hide and seek. I went to him. Bro. If you watched the new Simon hide and seek, he just started laughing. <laughs> <laughs> bro, it's so dead, mate. Like, I can't lie. They're, how old are they? Like, they're like 35 years old and they're seeking people. Like, they're actually playing hide and seek and, like, they're just walking around. Got you. Got you. Well done. Oh, fucking hell. Do you think I go? Do you think everyone's ever made it to the end screens of a Sidemen video and gone, what a Sidemen? Uh, you could ask someone, right, do, do Sidemen do end screen elements on their YouTube videos? Their retention. No one screen. will know. No, no one, one will know. No one will know. No one has a clue. Did you see the outro on it now? Nah, bro, I didn't see the outro. <laughs> They could have cured cancer in that outro and no one would fucking give no a shit. No one would care. No one would give a fuck, bro. Keep cancer. I'd rather, I'd rather have cancer than watch the Simon Hide and Seek. Is that a bit too far? Nah. Shit, we've done it again, man. Oh, fuck. See, here's the problem let's with the other just, podcast. Cambridge. Cambridge. Yes, Cambridge. I'm hungry, right? And right. this is true. Yes. I've gone to the Sainsbury's. You know that the one we used to go to? Yeah, okay. Like near the park. Yeah, 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 yeah the Sainsbury's. And I've put my car like, right outside it. And yeah. I've, I've gone in. Yeah. I've got a prawn layered salad because I'm feeling healthy. Oh, well done to you, buddy. Two boiled eggs. Yes. And a water. Ooh. And that's my meal deal choice. Wow. Bit of a dead meal deal choice, if you ask me. I've gone outside. Yes. No, 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 I haven't gone outside. No, 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 no. Oh, force I've gone outside and I've, I've gone, oh, I need a foot. As I'm thinking I need a fork, some guy shoulder barged me. Oh. Me being sensible, me, I didn't care. He probably didn't see me. Probably yeah. didn't mean it. Yeah. Cool. Anyway, I've gone in there. <sighs> Excuse me, mate. You know where the forks are? What? What? I'm asking the Rome. I'm asking the Sainsbury's worker. This little Romanian in a bright blue coat. He's just wearing bright blue. Fat Romanian. He's turning around. What? You're yes, not the you're, worker, you ain't the worker, it's the guy that barged no, you. No, the guy, this ain't the worker. A little, little Indian girl. Little Indian. She's the worker, yeah. Right, okay. Just, excuse me. You Notice know how no one's English in this story, and we're in <laughs> England. Notice that. You know, to start on the streets. Yes, I know. Uh, do you know where the forks are? They buy sandwiches. Oh, no, they're not by the sandwiches. Have you got any more? Yes, I've got... You, you, you look at me. You just, you don't, you get back to your shopping. What does a man have to do for a prawn layered salad? <laughs> this guy's yapping at me. I'm just like... Bro, I'm not doing this shit for free. My GoPro's off. It's in the car. I'm not doing this shit for free. I'm not arguing with you for free because I don't care. This is why you should always wear your GoPro on your Yeah, I know, I know, I know. The thing is, anyway, and I know no one's going to believe this as well. It's the one thing I got off camera. Hmm. She's gone and this guy starts shouting at her. Yo, serve me. He, he served me. He had a bit of an accent, can't what he saying, but he's shouting at her. Yeah. She's getting scared, which is delaying my fork. So now I'm getting a bit <laughs> All pissy. blood wants is a fork. That's, for that's a all I want. <laughs> I'm con- I might eat it with my hands, mate. Proper immigrant. But anyway, I'm waiting for my fork. Mm. She is getting nervous now. So I tell her, for the sake of my fork and for the sake of her as a person, look, you've, you've got a glass thing in front of you. Just don't worry, it's not deep. It's not deep. Yeah. He's not going to. He's not. Bro, he's not going to fucking punch her in the head he just isn't yeah. he's not so I tell her look it's not, it's not deep can I just get my fork and just ignore him he'll go yeah okay so she's a bit happy now I've comforted her it's alright so I think this is it now I think this is it <laughs> she's handed me my fork right <laughs> but she's touched it <laughs> so I'm like oh can I have another one because my friend I just make an excuse to get another one yeah, yeah. I get another one Oh, bloody hell. What? What What is your fucking problem? There's self-checkout there. There's self-checkout there. Comes up to me. Yeah. Puts his hand there. What? I've got, I haven't got a free hand. I've got water and pouring in standard. Yeah. So I've got like a, get the fuck. I'm a bit, I can't lie, I'm a bit annoyed. This guy. <laughs> I can no, tell, bro. No, I can't lie. He's just, he's pissing me off. He's pissing me off. Yeah, he starts shouting at me. You got problem? You got problem? Problem? Yeah, at this point, bro, it's Cambridge. Everyone's working, yeah. and I now I just look like a bit of a like I associate with this little twat. <laughs> I just look like one of them, don't I now? And he's talking to me. He's talking to me in this accent. I don't know what he's saying. All I gathered was, "Yo, yo, you got problem? You not listen to what I say? You not look at me? You not look at me?" And I'm just like, "What the fuck are you on about? Are you fucking talking to me? I don't even know if you're arguing with me in that exact tone because I can't lie. I was on edge." I didn't know if he was arguing with me. All right. Because what have I done? You what have I done? You just want a fork. I just want a fork. Just a fucking fork. And then and he's like, go outside. And then my mind goes, oh, I could do with a Kinder Bueno. 
because my meal deal was a bit dead, like you said. Yeah. So I've turned around quickly yeah. to get a Kinder Bueno right behind the till. Oh, pussy! Pussy! Oh my... What? Are you still here? Have you not finished shopping yet? The till's free now, mate. I've got my fork. Shop and fuck off! Oh, pussy! What? Why are you calling me a pussy now? Yo, you know, come out here, you're running, you're running, you do your shopping. Oh, no, 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 I'm just getting my Kinder Bueno. No, I'm, not, I'm not running. I fast walked to get my Kinder Bueno, I admit. Not what, running from you, though. What's this guy want to fight for? I don't man? know. Now I've gone to self checkout. I'll just quickly do my Kinder Bueno. Yeah. 10 second process. So this guy gives me a look of, oh, you're ruining Sainsbury's. I'm like, I just give him the look of, I'm not fucking with this Romanian. Anyway, we get outside now. We go outside. Left. Right. Yeah. Back in the shop. Always got to check your back. Always got to check your back. He's gone. Cool. Open the prawn layered salad. Got on the roof. Little table. Right. <sighs> like a proper pigeon, like a mating. With a, you know when the they do fuck? that. You know they do that whistle. Yeah. <laughs> Bearing in mind it's Cambridge. Everyone's a bit gay. They've all turned around. <laughs> no, no, no. But they are not as an insult. Shout out to Cambridge. Everyone man. there just likes their own gender. It's <laughs> it's calm for them. Okay. And me. <laughs> That'll do. Yeah, that'll save it. Yes. But but the, bro, the whole high street. And there's a fan. Oh no, yeah. no, bro! You're getting cackled for like, eating a prawn. Oh, forget. where's Snowy Joe? Where's Snowy Joe? Oh, he, he's not here. <laughs> boy, boy. Oh, for fuck! You want a picture? Or what? what do you want? Come on, let's get this. No, no, no! I don't hang out with the Romanians. I don't. No, trust me, I don't do this. I'm trying to eat my salad. The guy takes a picture. I just taking a picture. Boy. Boy, nobody save you. Nobody save you outside. Nobody save you. Is he all right, and I'm bro? just thinking, oh, now, now the fan thinks I'm a bit of a nit. He's got his photo and he's looking at me like, oh, that hamster seems a bit. So now the fan doesn't like us anymore. So now I'm pissed off at this Romanian. I'm hungry. Yeah. I need a poo. I suffer from irritable bowel syndrome. I'm not a person who just wants to be waiting around doing nothing with no access to a toilet. And when there's a Romanian shouting at you for no real reason, it's going to trigger you a bit. And then he's like, yeah, back it, boy. Back it, boy. And it's just... Mm, I'm getting in the car as he said that now. Is there an insult it? to say to Romanians? No, I didn't say... I didn't. I don't know. There probably is. So I don't know. Yeah, first. Jippo. Yeah. But anyway, I didn't call him a Jippo. No, because you're a respected citizen. I didn't need this, bro. You didn't need it. He's a Romanian. He's arguing with the Sainsbury's cattleman for not getting his vape. He's wearing a scruffy blue shitty coat. It's a, it's a net. He's wearing a net. He's wearing a sleeping bag that he sleeps on. <laughs> it stinks as well. Where I can smell. It smells of sweat. He's called me a packy, and I'm just thinking, I don't need. I don't care. I don't need it. Why are people so miserable? I don't need. If he wants to fight me, that's calm. But that's not how a fight works. The other person needs to want to fight you in order for a fight to work. And how did it get resolved then? Well, I'm getting in my car, and he just keeps on saying things to me, and I'm like. I don't really want to be angry in the car because that is literally a killing machine. Yeah. So I'm like, I'll shut the door because it's not worth it. I'll yeah. go to jail. Okay, cool. I just talked to him. What's wrong? What's wrong? God, police. God, police. Cop. Huh? The Are fuck? You? And, he, and he just waddles off. Waddle. He, no, he waddled off. He's a duck. He waddled off. And then he started on some girl. And I was like, oh, good luck, love. <laughs> good luck. This guy working on the wrong side of the bed this morning. Bro, bro, why is he in England? Bro, this is where your national reset, mate. I this actually, is why we need the national reset. I actually believe you on that now. Did you film any of that? No, 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 because it was when I got there. Bro, I came for a meal. My GoPro was in the car. Bro, what is, the, what is wrong with us in situations where we don't get filmed? Bro? I don't think it was going to happen. I had no free hands. I had a fork, a water, and a prawn-layered salad on my This is why you should walk around with GoPro on at all times, okay? Starting from now. Starting from now, okay? I will. Because there was one time... It happened well, like three days ago. Actually, we we're in blue water. All right, me and Raps, <laughs> no, we right. cannot. No, we have to say this, bro. Oh. Now, I, before I tell this story, okay, please do not judge us for anything that we say here. You may think of us a little bit differently. You may, you may actually think that we're not all there in the head and we belong in a mental asylum. Um, <laughs> it is generally worrying. So we're walking around uh, blue water. We go to blue water for a wing stop. You know, that's what we do. <laughs> Lovely jubbly. Only for a wing stop. That's what we want to do. Go for a wing stop, and uh, I say the bad thing by, "Hey, Ramps, you go for a walk." <laughs> That was the start of a that night. That was the start of something that I'd, I'd never want to be a part of again. So we're walking around Blue Water. With our slippers with on. Us, we, <laughs> we've got sliders on, you know. We just, like, we just look homeless, bro. <laughs> we got a, walking around. We've got, um, uh, oh no, we're looking for the milkshake place. Yes. We're looking for the milkshake place. Yeah, yeah, I've yeah. got my wing stop uh, fizzy drink in my hand and I'm, we're walking around, you know, you know, Blue Water's nice, seeing all the shops open and stuff. Can I tell you exactly what my brain thought? What? 
boots wh smith <laughs> vibrant colors laughing happy it's the lego store oh, for we've fuck got me. hit the lego store bro so we go and see the lego store yeah. and um at our big ages of 20 years old no you can lego's from to 99 there was these six Star Wars models in the back, <laughs> and then I found out like there was like a pick and mix for coloured bricks. No, bro, and trust me. No, there was. No, I know, I know, I believe you. We, we, we were, we were going to do it. Yeah, and obviously, so we're choosing what bricks we want, and then something captures our attention is like you can actually test the bricks. There's like a there's like a little PlayStation in Lego shops where you can like there's like two platforms and you can make. So what we what I'm we so ashamed of so what this we wanted to situation. make was like a little village yeah. so i started with the windmill and then joe had a sick idea of like oh let's let's make a wall around it and we like we adapted people's builds bro it, it was bearing in mind we are 20 years old it's a tuesday night in blue water and we're playing in the lego store we're never too old to have fun no, no no you're right there actually you're correct and i was fine that you know we we're by ourselves no one noticed um but as, as you know i walk in and be like are we too old to be in here i just want to make that statement and the worker goes no you can be what you said 99 years old and i'm like well i'm sure 100 100 years old you can't play lego fine, I think well, with a bit of bad with the staff you know what i mean so we're kind of friendly in there so um yeah we're playing lego uh we're, then, we're literally playing with lego this guy's showing off his windmill and uh bro it was sick proper pivot mate yes proper yeah. pivot boys yeah we're, okay so just not, not no dodgy builds so around just, it just picture the scene me and ramps not even filming being ourselves playing lego in a lego store proper right? sat down as well proper sat down actually <laughs> playing the lego bro <laughs> so retarded so retarded and uh, as we're playing, there are these. This is there's these two girls. Bro, uh, the thing they were with the worker. Yeah, they were talking to the worker. The, re the worker actually yeah. recognised her because she was off TikTok. But we didn't, we didn't know. We didn't. We had a hint. So the work there's like some famous girls walked in the school. Bro, I don't like TikTok. Yeah, so I'm like, oh, <laughs> friend of mine, we've got a few subscribers and we're yeah, playing Lego. But we <laughs> we we we're, we're, we're boys, we're different. The influencers, trust me. If you met them in real life, you would hate them. We're normal in it. So we're, we're just playing with our Lego. Yeah. They're getting a photo. They're doing their thing. We're yeah. doing our thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're happy. No one's, no one's clocked us. We've and, got and we think, you know, they're a completely different uh, niche to us. You know, they do beauty shit and like yeah, vlogs yeah. and stuff on TikTok and dances. They're TikTokers, all right? They won't, they won't have a clue. And we, were, we didn't have time to focus because I can't like the windmill was falling. Yeah, we yeah. needed to stabilise it. We need to build the little, uh, the little building. Like the wall. The, yeah, we the needed walls. to widen yeah, it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. So we, we weren't looking shit. at them. We we need to do our thing. We need to do a fuck. And then little do we know, two minutes later, excuse me, can I have a photo? What? Sorry. My, you, my mind was like, I'm like, what the hell? These TikTokers want a photo of us. Yeah. Bear in mind, we are playing Lego in a Lego store, and these two TikTokers who have more followers than us want what a photo with us. <laughs> what the fuck is going on? How many followers does she have? I think she has like 2.5 mil, mate, on TikTok. That's and she's verified. Oh. Yeah? So. That we take a photo of them. We're like, listen, right? I know you've seen us play Lego in here. Do not judge us, okay? We're just we're just having a bit of fun. And she's like, oh no, it's fine, it's fine. I'll play with you. And I'm like, no, 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 no. no, no. That yeah, pissed cool. me off. Yeah, it did I was like, bit. no, don't, because I'm actually trying to make a windmill here. Yeah. Like, <laughs> you've done really well for yourself. You got a really great career. You got a really good job. Yeah. It's my time to play Lego now. I'm exactly. Afraid. It's time for you to get your photo and go. And uh, so they walk off. We had the photo, blah blah blah. And then as soon as we're about to go down and finish off our windmill and power plant and builders, and hut and hut, sorry. <laughs> Uh, a girl and her two brothers come and go, excuse me, can I have a photo? <laughs> so the we... brothers are like 10. And even they're looking at us like... <laughs> Imagine you see your favourite YouTubers, I don't know, Nico, KSI, playing Lego in a Lego store and ask for a photo. Sorry. Genuinely actually trying to play Lego here. We're actually... Our minds are glued to the table. A proper build. A proper build. And you've seen your favourite YouTubers play Lego and ask for a photo. Like, imagine walking to a Lego store and seeing KSI and Simon <laughs> playing Lego. The Sidemen playing Lego. Like it, not a camera inside. Not, no ca <laughs> there's, no, there's no camera. I'm, I'm pretty sure they're like, are they pranking us Where's the ca what? No, we're here on a Tuesday evening. Nothing <laughs> better to do. Same time next week. Yeah, bro, we can stop Wednesday. <laughs> That's the new day. On a Tuesday? Oh, yes, I know. Bro, yeah. this reminds me of a baton. You know the baton relay? Bro, they gave me a disabled girl. Just let him do it. Oh, mate. I can't lie. The whole year, I didn't take PE seriously. Oh. But sprinting was like my thing. Oh. I loved I could do the 100 meter sprint. I'm fasted. Yeah, man. Well, Bro, you it's needed to run away day. while you're an illegal immigrant, mate. And you ne so it's... Can't carry on. No, I'm joking. So I'm it's joking. sports day, yeah? yeah Bearing yeah. in mind, I've waited all year. And then we found out we have to do it with the girls. I'm like, girls? <laughs> girls? Honestly, boys? Yeah. And then, bro. I don't want to say a name, but they gave me like say a name. disabled girl. 
Her name's disabled girl. No, that's, that's what we're gonna call. Her. Oh, we're gonna not, call. Oh, not, forget a name. A well, you know, government UK name. We'll just call her disabled girl. Well, That'll make everything better, won't it? Well, that gives the hint. It tells a story. Oh, so, so you know the baton, right? Yeah, you yeah, pass the, it. The bow, yeah. We had a four hundred meter a straight, yeah. hundred meters each. So there's like five people in the race. Yes. We're all in our lanes. Yes. And go. Okay, I'm looking. Oh, my team's losing. Cool, but we're not losing by much. This is a mixed genders, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. It's, it's a guy, it's a boy. Okay. There's three boys. I can't see disabled girl at the end. Disabled she's at the girl. end, so nice. I can't see her. Yeah. So he's messed up the whole thing. So I'm like, right, I'm gonna have to, I'm gonna have to fix this situation. Yeah. Yeah. I've grabbed the bat on. Yeah. I kid you not. The speed of light. I'm gone. I am gone. <sighs> Like, like months of training like I've actually been genuinely I've been training for the sports day at 400 meters I kind of cared I can't lie kind of cared very sad and then there's Sean Sean's there I Sean in my maths good guy Sean go on, mate, Sean's proud. a legend Sean rapid as well rapid weird smoking everyone yeah. and then I'm like no 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 and there's the there's like you know the teacher the, the teacher who helps them Right, so what we have to do... Oh I'm going to call her Jolene. We'll call her Jolene. Jolene. No, for the sake of this. So, Jolene, you're going to grab it and we're going to run. I'm like, no. No, Miss Holly, we're not. We're going to lose. We're not going to win. And then, okay, so now Sean... Now, obviously, Sean's realised what's going on as well. Sean's pissed, man. So, you can see Sean's a bit pissed off yeah, as well. Yeah, yeah. So, Sean's proper ragging it now to... Oh, come on, we've, we've got a chance. We've got a chance. What does she have, mum? You're asking. What does she have? What does I she have? don't know. She just talked a bit funny. Couldn't write and wiggled, and I didn't really see the point in her being in <laughs> school. I <God>, wiggled. <laughs> she I don't know why she was there. I got. I, they had to go at me for failing my exam. Look at her. She gets candy. She has candy floss, <laughs> and I get told off. But anyway, that's not the point. <laughs> no. <laughs> anyway, yeah. So yeah. she's she's got the bat on now. Jolene and the bat on. Miss has had to grab it because she's missed it. Yeah. Yeah. She so now, missed the battle. She missed it. Someone gave she it to her and she couldn't grab it. She just it. couldn't. I was oh, like, God. oh, what is the point? Why do I have to team up with that? No, did that, you know, that pisses me off, all right? If you're disabled, all right, there's a reason why the Paralympics are a thing, okay? You don't don't mix them together because that's just unfair. And if it's you want to argue that, oh, but there's not enough disabled people in the school. Okay, so why do we have set one and set five? Exactly. You belong in set five if you're not smart enough, all right? It's got nothing to do with your disability, but I'm just saying, like, for your example, you trained a lot. You trained, <laughs> you trained so much to be in the standard normal 400 meters meter race you trained a lot right you trained so hard Literally. to be in the 400 meter race right think about if Usain Bolt was doing a 400 meter race and Stephen Hawkins there Stephen Hawking is the last one all right do you think you'll be annoyed no there's a reason why there's Paralympics you guys go in that one do your best against all you little other people and then the others will play properly you know like genuinely like I the think real men the real men the men that aren't fucking need a mouth need a windows update Time out. Chill out, mate. Time out. We're really trying here. No, boys. we are. We're trying. This is, see, this is the thing. We talk We talk like this. This is literally our conversation that we have at 2 a.m. in the morning. Real talk, though. She took the bat on. Miss Paulie, Paul, what was it? I forgot the teacher's name. Miss Holly. Weird. The one who just chills with the table all day. Yeah, you've got those set teachers, in it. Yeah, Because you yeah, know yeah. why? They're not qualified to actually handle the real people. So they go, you got, you got the disabled. Yeah, this, this is easy. <laughs> you got the disability people. You won't have to do anything. Make times tables <laughs> with that. Bro, just play Lego and play them all day. Play Lego. Make sure they don't eat it. It's all right, mate. Cool. We'll see you at 4 p.m. Anyway, yeah. So she's taken the bat on. Yeah. Oh, my God. When I say there was no point in me even running, zoom, zoom, zoom. She, She's just waddling along. What is the point in sports day? This is so... And I went home. Nah, nah. You know what? I back you there. Like, sports day in school, like, it was a bit dead because you had to, like, partake of all the fucking retards, man. Yeah. Like, Why? Like, what, if they don't want to do it, don't let them do it. Let, let the others play properly, you know? I know, right. That's that's one thing I did hate about school, man. Like, that and then asking to go to the fucking toilet. Like, deep that. Yes, Sky Sports, how's it going, SoundCloud? Um, yep, so honestly, this fight has not been an easy one. It's taken months of training, but like I said, in all my press interviews, hard work and commitment. Post this fight, I've been saying it, and I'm saying it now, all right? No, get all the news outlets on me, because I mean it, boys and girls. Hard work and commitment is what got me that W today. And if you think by any means it's luck, believe me, it's not luck. It was far from luck, all right? I want to thank my family, I want to thank God, I want to thank my team for everything we've done today and everything we've achieved. 
achieved here tonight because it means a lot to me. I'm sure it means a lot for you, a lot of you lovely fans that are well. Well played. I was scared. He was a lot bigger than I thought. His trainers are good. Simply not as good enough as my team. My team wins every time. We've got God on our side, we think. Thank you. I'll see you all tonight. I'm going to go home and party. It's not been an easy fight. I think I'll be fighting next year now. I'm going to take a long break. <laughs> Maybe a trip to the Maldives. Thank you, Sky News, BBC. See you all right next week. Goodbye. Yep. It's all right. Yeah. So you know, I never had extended paid for Sky. I never had it. I only had six. I only had CBBC, CBBS, CITV. Are we just gonna leave on what just happened there? Like this is why ADHD. There's one thing you have ADHD. Desmond. I thought you were gonna say Desmond, <laughs> but you said why Desmond. did I go? You have Desmond. <laughs> and that's what I'm thinking. What the fuck is? What is generally? What is wrong with you? Like what is wrong with you? Desmond from Nativity, Mr. Poppy. Mr. Poppy! Bro, Mr. Poppy was a definitely a nonce though. That's what I'm saying. Yeah, he lives definitely in a caravan nonce. as well, like a fluffy caravan. Pretty sure he kidnapped a goat. Bro, he kidnapped a donkey, bro. They took it to they took it on a field trip and they took a baby with them. Why are we talking about nativity on our podcast? Bro. Why? It's, Why? It's Please. Not even, it's not even the festive season. It's not even relative to anything we're talking about right now. Ooh, I really want Ooh. some bauble earrings. <laughs> Bro, you know, once I was shopping. <laughs> Bro, no, this is why a podcast Sorry. is not a good idea. This guy won't shut the fuck up, man. Right, I'm going to do a really slick transition of the next one. No, no, I was speaking. I was going to ask you about school, bro. Yeah, it was all right. Uh, no. <laughs> What do you want to know? No, bro, remember how we had to ask to go to the toilet? You're right, mate. <laughs> what the fuck is going on? No, like seriously. We have to All right, five pounds for the front wind scroll outside as well, oh, mate. Yeah. Mate, are you fucking joking? Bro. Shh, okay. Interior? Yeah, interior? Yeah, 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 yeah. Interior, feet, please. Mate. Feet, mate. Yes, please. Thank you. Yeah. Brand new, mate, for you. Oh, thank you so right. much. How much does that mean? That's all done for you now. That'll be fifteen pound little mini valet. Mm. Have you got the medium valet? Can fifteen pound. Can I clone pound. you? Can I clone no, you? Come on, mate. I'll put you the lemon set as well. Fifteen pound cash only, mate. You know the deal. Mm. All right, Roy. Roy, just bring your one here, mate. We'll no. be with you in a second. No, I Fif talked to David, and he said that I could get a discount on this because you fucked up my car last time. Oh, what? what do you what, want what? to call? Do you want to call the CEO? Do I, I'll call the boss. What did we do? What, what did David do? What did David do? He went. Dave, mate. Wait, Dave. Wait, listen to me. Dave. Listen to me. If I'm gonna give you my car, if I'm gonna give you my car, you listen to me. I've got a fucking problem, mate. Look at my fucking eyes. Look at my fucking problem, mate. Fucking eyes right now. What did you do to my car last time? Tell me what you done to my car last time. Tell me what the fuck you done to my car last time. Bro, yeah. I told you you didn't mind. No, I did mind, mate. You didn't mind. You was I... with your missus. You were giving her all the lift. No. You didn't even care. Where's your missus now? She's not with you. She's not there. <laughs> we're moving on from this fucking awful situation. What I was gonna say is, bro, Stroop waffle. In... Stroop waffle on a Danish coffee. <laughs> on the coffee. <laughs> Yeah, oh, bro, we need to actually talk. Yeah, literally. Like, come on, man. Before like, we turn into satellite dishes and just intake sound and not produce it. Anyway, what I was saying was, remember in school, I had to ask to go to the toilet. Yeah, I know. You had to go, hello, miss. I need to do a human bodily function right now. Can I please go to the toilet? And sometimes the bitch would say no. In it. Like, That's what, what made me a misogynist in the first place. <laughs> no, no, no. Nah, that's what made me uh, an angry person. No, genuinely, it's fucked though, right? You have a human bodily function. You have to ask to go to the toilet, right? But oh no, you'll miss this fucking five minute question. Just let me go to the fucking toilet, bitch. Also, in London, Covent Garden, you have to pay for the fucking toilets there. Oh, you do? Bro, what the fuck is that about? What kind of fucking government country are we in where you have to pay to piss? What do homeless people do? Just constantly piss their pants? Like uh, constantly? They must yeah. be soaked through and through and through now the use of the adjective through being repeated three times really implies to the reader that it's really wet there's no chance of it drying anytime soon and it really gives the reader a feel as if he's almost there to experience how wet the underwear of the hobo is ramps ramps you are you are losing the plot mate right your autistic spells are kicking in hard do you need anything do you need anything I just need my mum you need your mother nah. well your mother's in my back pocket mate what are you do doing in there <laughs> Grandpa in my pocket. No, Grandpa. Oh, not the shrinking cap. Yo, what's the next topic, bro? What's going on in the world? Why did we decide to do a podcast, bro? I don't know. <laughs> because you are just chatting absolutely. Might bullshit. as well, isn't it? Better than me doing it on the sofa. <laughs> do it on the chair. So no. what's the what's the what's the going on in the world, bro? Well, I don't know what's going on in the world, man. What happened this week? Fuck all. Well, I was doing the news research, right? 
I went on the news website and it literally said, what did it say? It said something like, oh, Kiev has signed the deal and they, they're now <sighs> agreeing to address the South African, the South Africans' allegations. And I was like, mate, so... In conclusion, nothing has happened this well, week. Well, nothing's happened. It's still is it still going on? So is Russia Putin, and Ukraine still going Putin, on? Putin, mate. I want you to actually get it done, mate. Just light it, set off some nukes, blast half the planet out so we have a topic. I can't lie, Putin, you are an absolute verbalist. Do you see Hitler going, Oh wait, should I kill these Jews or should I not? Should I put them there? Should I do that? No. Yeah, Hitler he didn't actually think fucking about it. did it, mate, and I respect that from him. He had his fucking head his his management hat on and he fucking did it. Putin has done fuck all, mate. Oh, well, uh, if you don't fucking talk to me and join the join no door, I'm going to fucking bomb there. Did you do it? No. Oh, if I'm going to stop now. If you don't talk to me, did you do it? No. Putin. He's done nothing, mate. Fuck all Zelensky. He's having parties in Ukraine, mate. You know, he's not scared of Putin. They, they, don't, care. they don't, I bet, don't care. I bet. Do you think they FaceTime? <laughs> Yo, bro, you want to give BBC some content? Nah, <laughs> fuck them, bro. Can't be asked. <laughs> Yo, Putin, are you going to do anything today? Nah, mate. Oh, I'll just go for a little barbecue with Jemima. My conspiracy is, you know, like, <laughs> war-torn countries such as Afghanistan. Wars up, yeah. I think, right. So they've sat down. Glasses are off. This is being serious no, now, No, because they, they've we're all sat down. serious, I promise you. Okay, cool. Yeah. Serious time about... Okay, so imagine we're all, we're in the Afghanistan, like, embassy, right? Right, okay. In Afghanistan. Sorry. It's the year 1999. Why 1999? Okay, cool. Right, yes. Abdul, mate, London, America, all these places, they're thriving off tourism, but I just don't think we can do that. How should we generate money? Abdul. Abdul comes out. Bro, have you seen the media? Have you seen this, mate? Show his video of 9-11. Wow. And that was one of our boys, wasn't it? Yeah, yeah. But the point is, mate, they're making millions off media. What are you trying to say? Bro. I'm going to chuck this bomb at some innocent Americans. I mean, at some innocent Afghanistan family. We're going to film it for the news, post it to American news, and we're going to make a profit. I think they've been bombing their own country and they're generating money via the media and that's their main source of income. And all they had to sacrifice... Yeah, you live in a bit of a rubble ground. You live in digger land. Mm. But other than that... (laughs) Other than that... Like, bro, you're living in a nice house. So what you're essentially saying is is that all the bombs we see going on in Afghanistan are actually just them doing it and asking BBC for a cut. Simple as that. So Abdul goes to the corner shop. How much is it for a vape? Six pounds. Kind of steep, mate. One sec. When the media shows that Afghanistan's been bombed. 100 pounds for that story. Cheers, mate. Here you are, Abdul. Get me five vapes. Simple as that, mate. The problem with me being on a podcast is that the truth will be leaked. You've just debunked terrorism. I think they'll kill me. <laughs> I'm being serial. I think, I think, bro, if I ever go missing, just know I'm not missing. They captured me because I was giving out too much information on this podcast. Yeah. And you're mesmerized. You're thinking. Mm-hmm. No, I am genuinely. So, like, talk to me about, you know, 9 11. Bro, it was an inside job. It was an inside job. Yeah. Right. By who? Bro, do you know how disruptive that was for the ozone layer? They just needed to get rid of them. And they thought, well, we might as well get some media out there. The Twin know. Towers. Bro, would you know what the Twin Towers were if they didn't get exploded? No. They needed to make a name for themselves. KSI's most popular video, if that didn't explode, you might not know KSI. Simple as that. You wouldn't even know about Manhattan if it wasn't for Bin Laden and the boys. Yeah, but what I'm saying is, why are they bombing Twin Towers then? Because the Twin Towers are gone now. Why do they want to make them known that they're gone? Well, they probably just wanted something, like a bit of scenery there. Maybe the planet couldn't handle all that pressure. And oh, the tectonic plates. shit. No, I know. I know. They bombed 9 11 so tourists can go to New York and look at the memorial giving New York more money. Exactly. Shit. And they've got all their names on it and everything. Yeah. And it's like, oh, so they're using the sympathy card. Yeah, they're using the sim- this and the victim card. And the sales up here. Up the there. guy jumped off down there. Yeah. Shit. That's but, not funny. That's nah. not funny, man. Generally, that's not funny. What about... Uh... <coughs> I actually... No. You know when you say stuff? You know when you say stuff? Where are you gone? I'm so ill, bro. I almost just spat phlegm in you. No, no, no. You know when you say stuff? I'm not stuff, kidding you. <laughs> that was bad, man. I had to swallow it back up. It literally almost... It hit my mouth. I'm right? about to apologise. It, was about to, hit, it was about to hit your patella, right? That's fucked. My patella? I had to swallow phlegm back in when it could have been your patella. But that's how good of a friend What's I am. What's a patella? Your kneecap. Oh, wow. Why don't you call it a kneecap? Well, I don't know. A patella. 
What is it? The chocolate spread. <laughs> anyway, yeah, you know when you just say something, you instantly regret it. Yeah, like, like what? That guy was terrified for his life and he jumped out of a building. And I've just come on a podcast and took the piss out of him. Right? No, can't. We're not. We're, no, we can't take the piss out of victims in in nine eleven. No, I'm, I'm not. I did it once, but I regret it. Yeah. I'm actually genuinely viewers. I'm trying to better myself as a person. I'm trying to be a bit more. What's the word? Less explicit. Not speak my mind to the fullest because I think sometimes it doesn't really benefit anyone else. That's the most load of bullshit I've ever heard in my life, mate. What do you mean? You're just talking about getting all the immigrants out of the country, and you just literally said that all the time. Oh, the national reset. Yes, the national reset, and you've also just said all the trouble that's going on in Afghanistan is fake. Well, well no, it's real. It's happening, but I think it's just them doing it for a little quick payday. They're self-employed. That's what it is. <laughs> they're working from home. They're working from home. They're trying to evade tax. That's what they're trying to do, aren't they? Obviously. What are they getting taxed for? What's the government actually doing? If there's tax in Afghanistan, where's it going to? What is the point? What is the point? You're getting taxed, yeah? You pay £50 towards tax. You can buy, what, five bricks? That's not. You're not going to build fix the country with five bricks. So there better not be tax. Why do we pay tax furthermore? Full stop. <laughs> furthermore, full stop. Good grammar, mate. It's like, I don't fucking like tax. This is why I want to move to Dubai. You want to move to Dubai? I want to move to Dubai, bro. Alcoholic Snowy Joe wants to move to Dubai. I'm not. What the fuck are you trying to say, mate? Okay, well, alcohol drinker Snowy Joe wants to move to Dubai. Yes. You do realise it's a very Muslim country. Oh, I'm one of you now. I've become one of you. <laughs> Hello, man. Call me Rams. Call me Ramiz. Go on, babes. Right. Did you just call me Ba... No. Nah, sit in the noy corner. Bro, sit in the no, noy corner. No, no, no. There's no way you just call oh, me Oh, tell babes. me your story. I want to go home. There was so, a guy. Yes. Right. Who moved to Dubai to do some football training, right? Mm. What was he training for? Football. <laughs> <laughs> Why the fuck? Why? What kind of a question? Of what kind of a question bro. is that, bro? Ah! Yes. <laughs> he went to Dubai, right? And he uh, he moved there, yeah. And uh, he took his car there, right? And the Dubai officials saw a bit of vape liquid in his glove compartment. Obviously, mm-hmm. in Dubai, it's illegal. Guess how long he's in jail for? I'm saying four years. Twenty-five years. This guy moved to Dubai to get a better life to do his dream, to pursue his career. And because he had a little bit of vape liquid in his glove compartment, he's got 25 years in jail. So he's ruined his life. He's fucked, mate. 25 years. What the fuck is that about? Is Dubai all right? Is Dubai okay? You're, they're a Muslim country. I don't ever want to be rude here. No, no, no. Because it doesn't say anywhere, they, oh, if they've got vape liquid in their car, they shall go to jail. For is that in the Quran? I don't think so. But no, no, no. But no, I get what they're trying to do in terms of keeping the country in order. And yeah. it is in order. Yeah. 25 years is a bit much. 25 years, bro. And he's been there already for nine months. Has Can he got... have a fag there? Nah, you can't do anything there, bro. You can't be a fag there. You can't be a fag there. That is correct, buddy. You can't be or have a fag. Now, <laughs> they've got the country on lock, man. Bro, this is why I'm moving to Dubai. <laughs> no, no. No, joking. Like I said, we support the gays. There's one right here. No, we don't have to say we support them. We just say we don't mind them. Okay. Anyway, what I was going to say is, he's been there for nine months. doesn't have a bed. He sleeps on the floor in his jail cell. He gets a limited amount of phone calls a day with his parents or a week, I don't know. Like, literally like a minute long. Yeah. Oh, prison over there is rough, apparently. Bro, like, what is that about? Like... I'm left speechless, Joe. I don't know what to say. But they're Muslim. What's I got to be? <laughs> You're Muslim. Yes. Defend Dubai. What do you want me to say? Pretend this is a debate. Oh, cool. No, I think he deserved 25 years. Did he? prick thinking he can get rich. You know how much work doctors do? Can you put your phone on silent, dude? Do you know how much work doctors do? You know what I hate? What I hate? When people say, oh, they get paid way too much for kicking a ball around. And it just pisses me off. This guy's worked hard. It's a one in a million. It's not easy becoming a footballer. Mm. He took a risk. And if he didn't pass that, he would have been making less than you. And you know but what the people that, that say that are? Fucking little nine to five shift jobbers. They're Brokies. just jealous. Just jealous. That they just They're have to fucking work. No hate against if you work a nine to five. But if you're saying that, you're jealous. You are jealous. You are jealous. Fucking do. Pursue your career. Twerk, 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 twerk. twerk. See me how you work, 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 work. work, work. work. Anyway, that's what I was saying about Dubai because you're Muslim and that. And, like, you know, I just thought I'd join the two together like a melting point, you know? Yeah. Like, like a soldering iron. Muslim, Dubai, ramps, vape liquid. Ooh, like a little Xbox. 
Nah, PS, Xbox is more wiggly. PlayStation 4. Bro, what are we chatting about? What are we doing? What are we actually doing? Bro, I don't know why we have a podcast. Why bro, are we here? I don't know, bro. People actually watch this. If you've watched this far, we are literally just spitting shit right If what? you could be one thing on the planet, including that rug there, or Barack Obama, what would you be and why? What the fuck? If I could be one thing on the planet? I'd be a pencil sharpener so I can have wood twisting inside me. No, there's no way. Like, no... There's no way you have just said that. No, actually, bro, sit in the, sit in the noy corner. Honestly, though, Go I'd be... Go corner. Why? Because you're just being gay, and I, I can't be around that. I actually can't. It makes me heave. That's <laughs> a joke. I'm joking. I'm joking. No, bro, the reason... It makes you heave. Come on, mate. It makes me heave on heaven. What? <laughs> I have travelled heaven and earth. <laughs> no, bro. Why does he look just like a pilot? <laughs> it looks like he's operating a Boeing 747. He's only on a laptop. Sorry, oh, sorry, mate. Dear. No, kind of mood- no oh. so in Dubai you can't drink. Yeah, no, you can. You can in inside. Pretty sure, but they're all Muslim. They don't drink. You don't drink. I don't drink. Of course, I don't drink. I'm you know when, NPC. like, you know, you know when you go, look, you know, what I fucking hate. Right, I hate. I, I, I feel like I've hit a turn in my life. Right, I've turned over a new leaf. It's not brown anymore. It's green. I'm a maple leaf. Right, and I tell you why. I do not like clubbing. All right. Yeah. Even when I'm drunk, I despise it. It's just not fun. You can't hear anyone. You're dancing around sweaty people. The music is shit. You know, you have to buy drinks. It's a waste of money. I'd rather be in a bar, be in a pub and talk to people, have a good time, chilled one, right? Now, that's me drunk, right? I can't imagine when you go to a club sober. What is it like? I don't go clubbing at all, but I've got a story about me going to one sober. Okay. And how was that? I hit a girl. Okay. Okay, sorry. When you say you hit a girl, do you mean you hit on a girl or did you fully smack the bitch? No, I smacked her. You smacked the bitch? Yeah, yeah. Okay. Now explain why you smacked that bitch. So I'm 18, like new. Yes. First time I went to one was with you lot. Yes. And then I was in uh, my hometown. Yes. And I was with, I don't know who, I was with some old friend. Must have been a good friend, you don't remember his name. No, no, I was with some guy and he's like, Just some random oh, guy in a club. bro, you should come. My mate's performing. That's why, that's why we went. His mate was a DJ. Right. And he's like, oh, just come in for a quick minute, just check his stuff out. And I'm just to be polite, I'm yeah. like, yeah, cool. I'll go in for 10 minutes because I was doing something that night anyway. Yeah. Needed to kill some time. So I was like, okay, cool, just go in there. I do, please, mate. Oh, they're not jeans. Oh, no, he's my mate. I was like, why do you need jeans? This is the scattiest place. The floor's got gonorrhea. But yeah, anyway, jeans, jeans, belts. In, in Nottingham, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. There's that one, one place them. in Nottingham that club is full of gonorrhea. So we've gone in. Yeah. And there's the guy's DJing. Yeah. I've got my glasses on. Right. Bearing in mind, like, I'm like YouTube's just about working out. Yeah. These are like these are my nice glasses. I'm like I, I like yeah, my you glasses. Feel quite good. Yeah. Yeah, you yeah. yeah. Yourself, yeah. And then nice. this girl's come up to me. Yeah. I'm a bit eighteen virgin. Yeah. What? Why is she come up to me? I'm not dancing. I'm just observing because I don't really do this stuff. Yeah. She's taken my glasses off. Like, th- from here... Bro, they from, do, I hate when they do that. No, so from the annoying. middle, yeah. her greasy, wet hand... Oh. <sighs> oh, it's pulled my hair a bit as well. Yeah. She's put them on, and then she's grabbed my shoulders, and she's dancing, and it pissed me off. Right, see, other people would be like, oh, nice, a girl's dancing with me, not ramps. Ramps is a fully, you know... No, no, it Quran put me in a bad guy. mood. Man's obviously gone and got this part of the hand out. Right. Glasses on the floor, picked up the glasses. I'm bragging to the other guys. Yeah, yeah, I've just hit her around the head. Little thieving prick, little thieving bastard. She's like tearing up now. She's gone crying. I'm presuming it's her boyfriend. I don't care. The guy I'm with is massive. I'm showing off to him. A boyfriend and she's dancing with you? Well, I thought he was going to a boyfriend. What a fucking slag bitch, motherfucking cunt. I thought, I thought she went to the boyfriend. Before you know it, now I'm dancing. (laughs) Now I'm happy, yeah. I'm like, oh, the adrenaline's hit you. I've just smacked a bitch in the face. And then a tap on the shoulder. Yeah, man. Two security guards. Oh, shit. Listen, mate, you either come out or we drag you out. I think I'll take the first option. <laughs> the three of us march out. And then the guy talks to me outside. He's like, just don't get rowdy in there. Yeah, go home. And I'm like, you know what? That's enough clubbing for one day. Yeah, bro. No, no. Clubbing's dead, man. All the security stuff. Never went back. They think they're like the big bollocks, man, but they're on like fucking seven pound an hour. But that's their job, though, isn't it? They're getting paid to be the bollocks. They're paying to be balls. <laughs> I will pay you £10 to be a hairy human 
testicle component. Here's ten pounds. Cheers, bro. Yeah, <laughs> penis. <laughs> no, let's pretend to be balls. <laughs> Should we pretend to be balls for the rest of the podcast? Yeah. <laughs> Yo, we're bollocks. I'm a hairy bollock. Ever saying? since we started our podcast, yeah, it's, I have actually searched up some podcast. Right. I was watching it and mm. I was like, "Oh bloody hell, I'm actually interested." They're talking about something interesting. Watched hours. You fingered my dad. <laughs> and it's just got me thinking here right now. Can we please talk about something productive? Please. This For the, once, can we have a serial conversation? This is the whole point of our podcast, bro. No, just one time. Can we just have a serious conversation about something? Like what? What do you want to, what do you want to talk about, bro? Like what, what, what serious shit do you want to talk about? Because I guarantee that a serious topic we'll talk about, we'll just abuse the shit out of it and make fun of it. Won't we? That's what we do. That's how fucked up we are. Publish it, mate. Then I feel like, though, like, you know when we, um... Yo, we're like the twits from Roald Dahl. What the fuck are Mr. you... Mr. and Mrs. Twit. How are we Mr. and Mrs. Twit? Because look at us, bro. We just do nothing all day. <laughs> 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 We've done our life in hours. <laughs> Wake up, eat, go to sleep. We don't even eat. No, but you got to think about the evolution, though. Why? Right, because we grinded back in lockdown, bro. We get grind to be it, sick. Mate. No, we did grind though. Yeah, cool. Get over it. We did grind, mate. Okay, cool. Well done. Well done. You grinded. No, but now we just do nothing. All no, time. no, we don't do nothing. We think about ideas. <laughs> mm, let's do a part two. <laughs> <laughs> Work's done. <laughs> let's do call the parents nine. Oh, sorry. What? No, nothing. I was just uh, imagining an NFL win and everyone's everyone's celebrating. Our friend who's been working together on the NFL team for years has you just know, scored. When I first met you, right? You weren't a spastic. Yeah, I know. I think this must be a new thing. So what happened, bro? Amphetamine. Amphetamine. Is it ever since you've had IBS? Has IBS caused you to be a retard? I do think chromosomes leave. When you shit, maybe, instead of shitting all the time, your chromosomes are leaving your ass. Yes, I did notice something this peculiar this morning. What was that? There was something really weird that came out of my bottle. And what was it? It looked like a chewing gum piece. A chewing gum piece came... Well, that's true. You don't digest chewing gum. No, it was like a fresh piece. A fresh piece of chewing gum came out of your arse. Was it in your shit? I believe so. And there was also a, a butter um, a wrapper in there. So there was a butter wrapper? No, like a butter sweet. There's hard-boiled Werther's original. Werther's. There was a Werther's original wrapper. Yeah, and I thought... And a chewing gum... You couldn't have been me. In your shit. Yeah. Well, they were in the toilet. I don't know if they came out with me. <laughs> you want to go to a doctor, bro? <laughs> bro, I had to get my bum inspected when I had IBS. What? Yeah. What, like proper like prostate cancer shit? No, she, they asked to go in me, but I said I don't want to do that. You're telling me the doctor wanted to go and stick their fingers up yeah, your shitty Yeah, but I didn't know them. I just took a selfie. And showed them that. You took a selfie of your bum hole. Well, what the fuck? I poo so often that it's getting grazed down there because of the amount of like maintenance and cleaning it's doing on a day to day because I am rubbing it every thirty excuse me. Because I'm because <laughs> I'm rubbing it every thirty minutes, right? Yes. And because of that, it yes. was bleeding. So I thought, right, I'm bloody bleeding, mate, innit? I'm giving birth now. Something's going on. You're giving so birth. I've called the doctor Male and he's like horse over here. I've called the doctor. He's told me you got cancer, mate. I'm like, oh, sick one, mate. I'll let Snowy Joe and the boys know that they should start planning out their own channels. I'll be gone soon. Get there. Bend over. No, oh, that's gay. Fez. <laughs> and then, uh, Actually, if you're the doctor getting checked out for prostate cancer, he's yeah. like, bend over. Nah, that's gay. I don't agree with that. And you just die of prostate cancer. No, 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 Can't no. even get saved, bro. <laughs> it gets worse. It gets worse. Go on. So I've bent over. You bent over? Yeah. Gay. No, no, no. And gay. Like, All right, if you don't feel Ramps bent over. You gonna grow up? Bender. Uh, you gonna grow up? Oh. You gonna grow up? Or I'm gonna have to leave the room. You gonna grow up? You gonna grow up? Get out. Get out. Get out. Fucking bend over, you bender. Go on. I bent over. Yeah. I spread it. <laughs> bend over, bend. And I took a photo yeah. in selfie mode. <laughs> I should in the photo ended up taking a picture of like some bed. And I was like, well, I fucking didn't have it on selfie mode, did you? And I was like, <sighs> so I've gone tried it again. Yeah. Got the phenomenal nude. <laughs> <laughs> phenomenal nude. Did you send it to anyone? Did you say it's nah, only nah, it's, it's on my uh, shit on my phone. Oh, is it? Yes. Your lock screen. It was my lock screen. I zoomed in on it and no one knew it was my house. 
<laughs> but anyway, that's, that's a the, lovely thing. Anyway, uh, the photo was a bit out of focus. So I'm like, okay, let me take another one. Now, the doctor's forgotten. I do have IBS. I've got my ass spread and my phone's there. Oh, there's no way, bro. <laughs> this is literally what... Imagine this is my ass. That's <laughs> <laughs> so grim. <laughs> <You> start, <laughs> that's so grim, bro. Yes, yeah, so I'm, I'm thinking... The snake oh. was out the cave, bro. And I'm thinking, listen, love, I need a... You need a boot. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I was like, how does she know that? I've gone, done it. And now I'm really like proper wiping it. And I'm bleeding because of too much wiping. And it hurts. But I have to wipe it properly 100%. So I'm about to take a selfie of it. In focus. So this needs to be 100%. Not no 99.7%. This needs to be 100% clean. Oh, there's no toilet roll. Wait, shit. There's actually no toilet roll. Okay, cool. I have a Fanta with me. What? I have a Fanta with me. Fanta lemon. Relevance. Oh, a bit fizzy. <laughs> yeah, no, no, genuinely. What? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I've done that. A bit of blood, lemony blood on my ass. I've come out looking worse, mate. I've done that. I may have had to wipe it with my hand, and then just thoroughly wash my hand because there was no toilet roll. So what would you have done? And you have, bearing in mind, you have to take a selfie of your asshole in a minute. Why do you have to take a selfie of your asshole? To show them that where the blood is, because I didn't want to show them IRL because that's gay, bro. So you'd rather put Fanta lemon up your ass? No, I needed a poo. This isn't. This is different. Anyway, I've gone back in. Oh, please, can we just can we just do this now? They've seen my ass now. They have a proper exam. And yeah, you've just cut it, mate. So just don't wipe it for a bit. Stay home. Oh, mate, I had to spend the week at home pooing. Do don't, you know and I not felt... wiping. No. Don't, How do you wipe? Water. I just used water. And I proper no. So every time I had a shit, what I did, I got um, I folded a tissue a lot to make it really soft, right? softly got the big pits off and then to get in between in between the bumps i had to go and just have a shower had about 10 showers that day <laughs> what's your record for ibs 22 22 shits in one day friday night last week last friday i remember this happening me used to play in fifa mm. this guy's getting up continuously just having shits and he's pissed off this guy's sitting down on the sofa getting comfy next minute the snake's out of the cave he needs a shit you think it's bs put an eye in front of it <laughs> Dog, <laughs> me and my IBS bros just making jokes. Bro, bro. blood needs a nappy on twenty four seven. Bro, your mum uses a VGI cable. Bro, your mum has a Club Penguin membership, dude. <laughs> your mum does puzzles and doesn't start off on the edges. <laughs> <laughs> She's an idiot. <laughs> your mum eats quavers. Shoe zone. What about shoe zone? My mum shops at shoe zone. It's good. Get shoes there. Discounts. <laughs> Discounted shoes. Savers. Savers, God, from this podcast. <laughs> I think we're done, bro. <laughs> I think we've talked about some random shit. Literally. I, d- I don't even think, like, what the fuck have we talked about in this podcast, mate? It's been in a whole jumble, wumble, Clapham Junction. Clapham Junction. Clapham Junction. Jugga, jugga, jugga. Yo, where are you at, guys? I'm at Clapham Junction. Give me a one, two, three. Bad. Yeah, mm. nice. All right, guys. Thank you for watching the second episode. We'll see you next week for this absolute idiotic podcast that I think is in the internet. That was Moity. Moity podcast, boys. <laughs>